And when we hit that stage, there were always four dancers dancing at the same time, one in each corner and a dancer in the middle. Now, when it came to the Lindy Hop, you had the four teams there. Frankie was over here, Leon was in the center, and I'm down here looking. I saw an amazing thing, because Frankie, without a doubt, was the best dancer ever. The judges didn't even know that. They picked the man that had the greatest personality, and he had on a white suit, and he hit that stage and lit up the garden. So, Leon James won the contest, Frankie Manning came in second, I came in third. And that was the first contestant at the Harvest Moon Ball. But I told Frankie, I said, you lost that contest because you wore a brown suit. <laughs> In his book, I think Frankie talks about how he had followed the rules, and Leon James didn't. <laughs> I mean, all of a sudden, all you saw was hands. When you saw his face in, in Day of the Races, that was what he, he had a personality, which meant that mattered more to the judges than the dancing, because everybody knew Frankie was the best dancer. There was no question about it. But good dancing didn't take it that night. The great personality took it. That's why personality is important on a stage. You can dance all you want, but if you haven't got a personality, the dance don't mean nothing. So when I watch dances and I watch you rehearse, I look at you. Some of you look dull as dishwater <laughs> because you don't extend the personality. And that is what gets the audience. It's how you relate. The audience relate to you because you are entertaining them. When you're dancing and you're doing nothing but dancing, you don't get the audience. A little bit of like advice I'm passing on to you. When I watch you, some of you suck. 